There is a really promising new battery technology using silicon in the anode for lithium ion batteries is said to potentially be as revolutionary as solid state battery technology, but much cheaper and more realistic to come to the market soon. Now, there's a new company saying its EV battery can reach a full charge in less than 10 minutes. What does this mean? Silicon anode batteries could come to market very soon, accelerating the adoption of EVs and potentially changing the market entirely. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Great to have you. First of all, lithium silicon batteries aren't actually entirely new, even though the media would like you to think that they are. In fact, the lithium silicon battery is a name used for a subclass of lithium ion batteries that employ a silicon based anode and lithium ions as the charge carriers. Silicon based materials usually have a much larger specific capacity, for example, relative to graphite, which is limited to a maximum theoretical capacity of only about one tenth of lithium silicon batteries. Silicon's large volume change, approximately 400% based on crystallographic densities, when lithium is inserted is one of the main obstacles along with high reactivity in the charge state to commercializing this type of anode. In other words, yeah, companies have been trying this for a while and it does present some challenges. Now, right now, commercial battery anodes may have some small amounts of silicon boosting their performance slightly, but those amounts are closely held trade secrets and limited as of 2018 to at most 10% of the anode. Lithium silicon batteries also include cell configurations where silicon is in compounds that may at low voltage store lithium by a displacement reaction, including silicon oxycarbide, silicon monoxide or silicon nitride. Now the truth is the first laboratory experiments with silicon lithium materials actually took place in the early to mid 1970s. However, silicon carbon composite anodes were first reported in 2002 by Yoshio. Studies of these composite materials have shown that the capabilities and the capacities are a weighted average of the two end members, graphite and silicon. Now sample production of batteries using a silicon nanowire graphite composite electrode were produced by Amprius in 2014. The same company claims to have sold several hundred thousand of these batteries as of 2014. And in 2016, Stanford University researchers presented a method of encapsulating silicon microparticles in a graphene shell, which confines fractured particles and also acts as a stable solid electrolyte interphase layer. These microparticles reached an energy density of 3,300 milliamps per gram. Now, in 2015, Tesla founder Elon Musk claimed that silicon in Model S batteries increased the car's range by 6%. As for 2018, products by startups, Sela Nanotechnologies, Global Graphene Group, Enovix, Innovate, Group 14 Technologies, and others were undergoing tests by battery manufacturers, car companies, and consumer electronics companies. Sela clients include BMW and Amprex Technology, battery supplier to companies including Apple and Samsung. BMW then announced plans to incorporate Sela technology by 2023 and increase battery pack capacity as a result by 10 to 15%. As of 2021, Innovix was the first company to ship finished silicon anode batteries to end customers. Since then, Group 14 Technologies has patented a silicon carbon composite SCC55, they call it, which enables 50% more volumetric energy density than graphite used in conventional lithium ion battery anodes. As you can see, this is game changing. SCC55 has been tested and validated by battery manufacturers Pharasis and Stordot, the latter of which found that SCC55 could be charged to 80% capacity in only 10 minutes. Group 14's investors and customers include Porsche, Amprex Technology Limited, Shower Denco, and SK Materials. Now, in May of 2022, 
Porsche AG led Group 14's 400 million Series C round and announced plans to produce lithium silicon battery cells with Group 14's technology in Germany in 2024 to help power their new electric vehicles. Now, Group 14 plans to use Porsche's funding to accelerate the development of their second US factory to supply a minimum of 600,000 EVs annually. That's a lot of cars. On September the 22nd, 2020, Tesla revealed its plans for gradually increasing the amounts of silicon in its future batteries, focusing on the anode. Tesla's approach is to encapsulate the silicon particles with an elastic ion permeable coating. And this way, the silicon swelling concern, which is an issue, is accommodated, thereby enabling the desired increase in battery capacity to be achieved. Overall battery life expectancy is expected to remain unimpacted though by this change. The reason for the gradual instead of sudden increases in silicon usage is to enable testing and confirmation of step changes. Now there's a California-based company called Innovix, and they're saying some interesting things. Now their new type of silicon anode lithium ion battery could be the solution the EV market is waiting for, as it can apparently charge from empty to full in less than 10 minutes. Now this battery is designed and built by California-based Enovix. The battery also maintains 93% of its capacity after 1,000 charges, and it was minimally affected by six months of operation at high temperatures, the company claims. If this is true, this is revolutionary for this technology. Now, per the USABC, a battery that can reach 80% charge in 15 minutes and handle at least 1,000 charging cycles can be called advanced. And by that standard, Enovix has accomplished goals that the USABC considered mid to long term. Enovix's battery technology has already been put into cells of varying sizes, including a smartwatch being manufactured by an unnamed OEM that Enovix said is one of the top consumer electronics companies in the world. Could be Apple, could be Samsung, don't know, but it's more than likely one of those. Now, the same technology is in its EV batteries, electric vehicle batteries. They're built with a proprietary architecture that Anovix said eliminates the problems that come with using silicon as an anode, such as swelling, which I mentioned before. Graphite, the typical anode material, has far less energy storage capacity than silicon, but it has remained the standard due to silicon's technical problems, which greatly reduce life cycle. Fast charge capability can accelerate mass adoption of EVs. And we've been able to demonstrate a level of performance that meets and exceeds many OEM roadmaps, said Anovix CEO, president and co-founder, Harold Roost. Now the capacity boost and charging speed offered by these silicon anodes that Anovix are using could help move EVs past their market niche and onto more streets. Basically what this would mean, right? is that we don't need solid state batteries. These would be just as good. But apparently safety and other issues still remain. Inovix said that it's brake flow technology, which boosts abuse tolerance in lithium ion batteries, means its product is a safety improvement over traditional batteries. However, Anovix isn't the only company investigating the use of silicon as an anode for EV batteries. I just spoke of many others. The USABC has already announced funding for similar projects from Amprius, which I spoke about before, which is now working on EV batteries with a silicon wire anode, and Nonoramic, which has developed EV batteries with silicon dominant anodes that can be manufactured on existing EV battery equipment. If that is true, right, this would mean that entire factories would not need to be retrofitted and that production would be much, much easier as a result. Another battery experimenter, Innovate, is developing a porous sponge-like silicon anode. And it's said it's already working with a number of electric vehicle manufacturers to get its battery, which it claims can do 400 kilometers on a five minute charge into unspecified 2024 model electric cars. Now, Innovate, does have partnerships with Renault, Nissan, and Mitsubishi. So it seems as though Innovate are actually saying, but not saying, that in 2024, Renault, Nissan, and Mitsubishi will have electric cars with their batteries, where the battery can charge to 400 kilometers of range in only five minutes. Now, as you know, I've reported on lots of different technological advancements in battery energy density on this channel. However, Innovate, Innovix, 
and Amprius are three companies that people don't really talk about very often. We often talk about CATL, right? We talk about solid state battery companies. We talk about BYD. We talk about LG Chem, etc. But these new battery companies may very well have a product that's actually better than anything we're currently seeing in cars right now. And frankly, I've got to say, I'm extremely excited for the future of electric cars because these kinds of technologies will eventually find their way into cars that you and I will be driving. And this could happen much sooner than we think. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. What kind of battery technology do you think is the most promising and likely to be widestream mainly to be accepted widestream in electric cars by 2025? Now I'm seeing a few different things and I'm going to have a new video coming up very soon on my predictions. Have a great day. Bye-bye.